question guys erlanger gasser categorizes practically every kind of neurons all right erlanger gasser categorizes motor neurons it categorizes autonomic neurons as well as sensory neurons whereas numerical method is involved in classifying only sensory neurons alone none of the other types of neurons are getting categorized by numerical method it's just sensory neurons alone people so within the motor neurons we have different varieties which are involved in different functions within the autonomic and sensory we have different varieties involved in different functions now let's take up erlanger gasser method of classification at the outset erlanger gasser method of classification uses alphabetical letters there is type a neuron type b neuron type c neurons whereas numerical method uses numbers it includes type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 all right sensory neurons alone is being categorized into four varieties type 1 2 3 and 4 all right by numerical method but by erlanger gasser method even though it is a sensory neuron even though it is a sensory neuron it is getting categorized into just three varieties people a b and c the same sensory neuron is getting categorized as four varieties when it comes to numerical method it's just the way different system categorizes neurons not there is absolutely nothing to get confused all right i am a scientist and i work on a classification process of neurons and i categorize neurons in three variety and another guy comes into the picture he is also going to categorize neurons and this fellow is going to categorize neurons in four varieties we just use different principles to categorize neurons as simple as that people don't get it confused anyway once we get to see these neurons and their uh, namings you can able to understand this even better and simpler so that's the basics of erlanger gasser and numerical method people but finally when it comes to these two methods they adapt one basic property all right when it comes to the hierarchy the classification goes in descending order it happens in descending order of conduction velocity which means the neurons with highest conduction velocity are organized at the top of the table as you as the table keeps going at the bottom there is going to be neurons which do have least conduction velocity very very less conduction velocity doctors all right surprisingly both methods do adopt one basic principle that the neuron with highest conduction velocity are arranged at the top of the table the neurons with least conduction velocity are arranged at the bottom of the table fine now with this let's go and see erlanger gasser method of classification and you guys know at the beginning itself that the whole basics behind the classification is going to be conduction velocity right now we could able to see three kinds of neurons people a neurons which do have subtypes it's going to be a alpha a beta a gamma and a delta followed by type b neurons and followed by type c neurons that's erlanger gasser method a alpha beta gamma delta